Just a short reflection as we start our time of prayer tonight. One of the greatest cries of the human heart is, that's not fair. <laughs> we look at our lives, we look at the world, and often we exclaim, that's not fair. And we want to change it. Sometimes our own hearts, we want to change our hearts. Sometimes we want to change our, our homes, our schools, our parishes, whatever it might be. And indeed, we deserve better many times than what we're offered in life. And we want to change. The modern world's fascinated by power, <clears throat> the power of a aggression by changing things by force, by pressure, by influence, by imposition. But Jesus offers a different way, doesn't he? He changes things. He's, he's the one who changes things the most. And he doesn't do it through imposing himself or through the conventional categories of, of what we might call power. Rather, he does it by gentleness. He does it by gentleness. St. John the Baptist prophesies about the Messiah that a bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench. Meaning, he's very gentle. He's very gentle. Think of how the Spirit of God approached Elijah in the Old Testament as he was in a cave at Horeb after a long journey. Elijah was looking for God in all these powerful things, the wind and the storm and the rain, but there he was in the whisper, in the whisper. On the week of his triumph, Jesus enters the city of Jerusalem on a donkey, a very gentle creature, not a knight in shining armor, but a humble savior in his gentleness. Indeed, gentleness is one of the greatest qualities of the heart of Jesus, is his gentleness. That's how things change in life. Some of the things that cause the greatest change are slow and, and gentle things. Think of a glacier on a mountain, or think of the trees and the, the plants that sometimes encroach on a, a road or someone's home or sidewalk. Very gentle, but very powerful at the same time. St. Francis de Sales, he was a great saint of gentleness. And he would say this, there's nothing as strong as true gentleness. And nothing as gentle as true strength. We even look at the Eucharist tonight, how gentle is the way that Christ comes to us in the Eucharist. Quiet and hidden. Pope Benedict, when he was Holy Father, would say, Christ never imposes himself. He always proposes. He never imposes. He always proposes. With great gentleness, waiting for our freedom. And why does God act with gentleness? Because he longs for our love, and our love must be free. It can't be forced or coerced or swindled. It must be free. And so he comes to us in great gentleness. What a consolation that is to us. That he's here in gentleness. That gives us great freedom to come, to come to him. Without fear, without intimidation. 
but with a great invitation just to come with our hearts, our burdens, our sorrows, our joys, and to come to the gentle Savior to share and, and be with him in his great gentleness. What a gift that is. We need that gentleness. How often I think we assume maybe a false image of God that's important or maybe aloof, maybe someone we're afraid of. as if God's going to overwhelm us by his great divine power. But just, he does everything he can to convince us of his gentleness so that we can come to him without fear. So maybe that's what's to pray with tonight. Is maybe ask the Holy Spirit for this gift tonight. Holy Spirit, come into my heart and help me taste and savor the gentleness of Jesus. Help me just to sense that and to abide in him and his gentleness. One time someone accused St. Francis de Sales of being too gentle. He was known to reconcile many people to the church with great patience. And, and they said he was... A, a bishop, and he's, they said, Bishop Francis, you're too gentle. You're too gentle. And he responded, maybe with a little bit of cheekiness, well, I worship a merciful father, a lamb and a dove. What else should I be? So let us hear those words of the Gospel of Matthew, those great words of Matthew 11. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and gentle of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden light.